Hey, it's Okaboji Market Update time once again, and Robbie and I picked the right color shirt to wear today. Yes, you did. I think I wore this one the, uh, the last couple of times we've done videos, so I think I may need to upgrade, upgrade my wardrobe a little bit. Well, I picked green. Yes, you did. And you know why? Because this is CNB Power Sports, yeah. and they've let us come in and talk about some of their new offerings. Now, we've been here before, Yep. and that was probably a year, year and a half ago, but things have updated and changed. Yeah. New ownership of CNB operations. If you're familiar with CNB, mm -hmm. uh, multiple implement dealerships yep. throughout the Midwest. A very strong company, yep. and you know, some of the bigger uh, implement dealers that you can find anywhere. So, yeah. but CNB Power Sports has uh, brought in some of the smaller units. Yes, which uh, we're drooling over. Oh my gosh! This, you talk about a big boy toy store. Um, they've got it here, but they also got uh, little kid toys here, but. Man, the, the availability they have in the store is just crazy. Oh yeah, accessories and the riding tractors, uh, just about anything when it comes to the smaller units that John Deere offers. Robbie, you bring up a great point with the toys mm -hmm. because that is really, toy collectors with John oh. Deere items, well with any implement dealers, yeah. uh, you know, toys can sometimes be a major factor. It certainly can be. They've got a big selection here. Yes, they do. Plus they got John Deere safes back here, John Deere wear, Oh. You name it. I mean, really, such a very, very cool store. Mm -hmm. uh, and not let's not forget the Polaris. Right. That has not gone away. So no, they it have hasn't. a whole section back here mm -hmm. of Polaris items. Yes, they do. So, uh, I think even the, the clothing and all that, just everything mm -hmm. that goes along with it. Yeah. But so. it, it's amazing, Jimmy, with the, with what uh, these implements, just the attachments you can get for them anymore. It's just not a mower or a blower or just a tractor. Mm -hmm. They got all kinds of fun stuff you can attach to them now. Mm -hmm. Cup yeah. holders. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the awnings. I mean, I've yeah. had a John Deere before, mm -hmm. and you know, it's not, and we don't want, really want to lean towards that male gender. Uh, ladies, man, these are some of the most comfortable tractors, lawn mm -hmm. tractors you can get. And in my past experience, uh, my, you know, my current girlfriend, she loves mowing lawn. Yeah. Likes getting out there. I don't make her do it. I mean, I, I love to do it, but yeah. she likes getting out there too and doing it. So, <laughs> I mean, ladies, you can come in here and check this stuff out too, man. It's just really, really cool. Yeah. Easy to use, very efficient. You just can't beat the John no, Deere name. You can't, and it, they last a long time. You bet. So let's yeah. go with the Polaris name here with the side-by-sides I just mentioned a little bit ago. Uh, all the side-by-side -side accessories, they got service here, and yeah. of course service for the small engine John Deere stuff too. Let's not forget that. But yeah. the service department here, great job i had a side by side uh you know last year uh they did some work on it fantastic work yeah. uh they do some wonderful things yeah. here yeah not only do they sell it but they service it too forever mm -hmm. so yeah. stop buying it you got questions make sure you ask them so yeah. let's get on a little bit of market update rob uh you've heard us talk about it before mm -hmm. equity in your equity, home which is huge a lot of people sometimes don't quite understand it but um it's that percentage right now from what people have uh, of equity in their homes is pretty huge. And not only from that, over the last five years, what home values have done over the last five years. And what was, we just saw that if you today. Look at some statistics, these are really interesting. Uh, Iowa is at 42, just, just shy of 43% of increase. Increase in depreciation over the last five years. Right. That's huge. Yes, it is. And 58% yeah. is the national average. Mm -hmm. Now, some places you probably don't want to go is Washington, D.C. They only increased 23%. Yeah, yeah. well, uh, you can understand <laughs> why you, that. <laughs> the largest percent was Idaho at 102. Wow. Want to get out there? More people move into the country. I suppose I guess. I home knew. prices are I just knew. flying. People leaving the West Coast to go out to uh, Idaho. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been told. Yeah, they, either they want to go out to Montana, get you next to Yellowstone. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's where that movie's filmed. Or that, yeah, that series is filmed. Uh, all kidding aside, though, the, uh, once again, the average around that fifty-eight percent. That is a large, large number mm -hmm. for the past five years yeah. for equity in your home. It so, is. And in the Iowa Great Lakes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to say, you probably know it better than me, uh, is that you basically you're not going to lose here. No, you're not. I, and I would say in our, our immediate area, that, the Iowa Great Lakes, um, I bet you we're, we're probably over that 58% mm -hmm. in appreciation over the last five years. Yeah, I would easily estimate that, ladies and gentlemen, because it is just a hot place to live. And yeah. Of course, we get calls all the time uh, from certain, some people from time to time, and one person I think I'm going to pick on, I don't even know who it is. <laughs> the gentleman calls and he complains about the Iowa Great Lakes and Okaboji. Yeah. And why would anybody want to live here and pay these exorbitant prices? Well, that's his opinion. There isn't really exorbitant prices here. Mm. There's homes that fall. I mean, our average is 275 to 300. Yeah. 
That's so, and that's not that's not terrible mm. for a really nice, decent home. You can find much less. Yep. You can find much higher, of course. Yep. Yep. But we're not we're not out of the range. No. So no, we certainly uh, aren't. But the interesting thing is, is that uh, it is a very it's become a very popular place. Mm -hmm. uh, why do people move to Arizona? Why do people move to hotter places in Florida? You yep. know, why do they move there? Why are those real estate prices that high? Because more people want to be here. Yep. So that's right. It's just, that's just God's honest truth. Plain and simple. Yeah. Why, why do I put myself here? Because I like it. <laughs> so. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. You will not lose equity in your home once you kind of get into it. We talk mm -hmm. about first home, first time home buyers, uh, you know, getting into a home and you're just going to start building equity. Yeah. Definitely. So there's, uh, um, there's a lot of great programs out there. There's a grant out there right now. Um, first time home buyer, they could get up to $7,500 grant uh, mm -hmm. for a down payment on their home to get to get that little bit more extra of a down if they wanted to. And, you know, I think they say if you're in it within five years, you got to pay it back. But if you're not, I think they forgive that $7,500. Mm -hmm. That's pretty darn nice. That's excellent. So yeah. once again, we emphasize the programs. Talk to your lender. Yeah. Talk to your local banker. They're going to give you the real deal. I get that question all the time. Hey, Jim, should we go online? <coughs> no, just go talk to a real bank and a real lender, a face-to-face -face person. Have them give you some estimates and some real information yeah. because online can be a very scary place. Certainly so, can be. I mean, if some people have done that, God bless you. If you had a great yeah. experience, I'm not knocking it. I'm just saying I think the percentage mm -hmm leans towards talking to somebody really face yeah. to face in your local lender will do you just as much justice if not better right and, so. and we all need to sit and talk to somebody face to face not over a computer <laughs> keyboard absolutely <laughs> that's why we love getting out talking to everybody in the area yeah. so check it out uh biokaboji.com if you're looking for some homes you want to get online we're speaking about it check mm -hmm. them out uh also where are we at rob we're on youtube so uh subscribe and smash that like button little instagram little TikTok, little snapchat we just have like to have a lot of fun here and don't forget Stop by CNB yeah. Power Sports right here, just right in Okaboji, kind of right before you get to Spirit Lake. Yep. I would say the actual technical address. That That's got to be Okaboji. I think the other side of the road would be Spirit Lake. There we go, right on the edge. But <laughs> John Deere products, amazing stuff. They yep. have a wide selection here, plus Polaris. You got all the side by sides. Uh, so much of snowmobiles are kind of going out right now, but yeah. hey, side by side season is year round. So That's stop right. by and check them out. Thanks so much again for joining us. All of our information on YouTube and so much elsewhere. Check us all out. Subscribe today. We love it. So I'm Jimmy McLenz, and I'm all about you. I'm Rob Hinn. Say something nice to somebody. Thanks.